What is up, YouTube? Welcome to Pain Fro Games. In today's video, we're going to be breaking down the best solo builds that you should build to defeat the brand new seven star terror raid chestnut for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And hopefully, this guide is going to be helpful for you if you don't want to play online or do my one hit KO online strat. This is going to be the best Pokemon that you should build. And hopefully, you're able to farm all the goodies from this chestnut with these builds. And of course, guys, if you're new to the channel or like my type of content in general, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new. I really appreciate it. And consider joining the Pan Fam today by hitting that join member button below. So to begin a quick overview of the Chestnut, we know it's going to be Terra Rock, has the ability Bulletproof, but makes it immune to a couple of things. And it has a really high defense stat, decent HP stat, bad spadef stat, and a pretty good attack stat too. So we know it's going to be a physical attacker. We know it's going to have grass fighting rock type moves for sure. So for the grass type moves, I'm thinking like seed bomb or wood hammer. Fighting type moves, hammer arm, close combat, or maybe body press just because that defense stat is so high. And especially it could have a plus defense nature as well, considering it is its best stat. The rock type move is going to be a stone edge or a rock slide. And the last move, who really knows? Poison jab to cover uh, grass types actually seems really fair to me. But it could also have Earthquake. There's like Iron Head, Dragon Claw, Shadow Claw. There's a bunch of different things in this last slot. So who really knows? But I think Poison Jab and Earthquake are the two most realistic. But we shall see. Now for setup moves, there's a lot of them. But the good news is it has no way to increase its actual special defense. It could increase its defense stat. And Spiky Shield will definitely be on this Pokemon. As it is the signature move of chestnut essentially it's protect it won't take any damage but if you hit it with a physical attacking move you will take some damage so we're gonna have to watch out for that as well but it really could set up his defense with a bulk up or an iron defense and bulk up also increases the attack on the attack side it could also use swords dance as well so we got a bunch of different things to watch out for with this guy but i don't think he's gonna be too difficult in the solo realm either and our first solo build is gonna be lorantis with shell bell and lorantis is pretty solid because it has the ability contrary and contrary is gonna allow it to start popping off with some leaf storms so max special attack max hp modest nature and contrary is great instead of having stat drops we're gonna have stat increases which means leaf storm is going to boost our special attack by plus two every time we use it capping at plus six so you obviously want to have leaf storm with a pp max you want to have all eight of these that's a necessary thing and some other moves that you could use is like sunny day because if you run out of leaf storms you can sunny day and just spam solar beam for five turns is really good and the advantage of solar beam here is one it is 100 accuracy on like leaf storm which could miss and you know solar beam with the sun up is only going to take one turn to do it instead of two turns and then synthesis is actually going to give you a way bigger HP regain. So that's going to be a decent option. Now, the only issue with Lorantis is it's not the most like bulky Pokemon. So you don't resist fighting. You don't resist rock. Those are going to come in hitting hard. So Lorantis does have a little bit of downside, but it's going to hit really hard back. Now, our next Pokemon is going to be Annihilate and we're going to be running the Shell Bell on it. And I'm running max HP, max attack, adamant nature. Uh, you could do inner focus. You could do defiant for the ability. I don't think it actually matters too much here. Defiant usually is the better ability, but the chestnut could have some flinchy moves like rock slide. So we're going to keep that in mind. And we're going to be running rage fish, drain punch, screech, and close combat here. So when rage fish is at max stacks, which is going to be 300 damage, a rage fish is actually going to do more damage than a stab super effective close combat. Because 300 damage versus 120, even with all the stab boosts and super effective boosts, Ragefish just ends up doing more damage. And the reason why we have Shell Bell is because Ragefish and Close Combat will both be giving us HP back. And we have Screech to lower that defense in the beginning. And Drain Punch is just sort of here as our fourth move. We don't really necessarily need to do it because we have uh, Shell Bell. So essentially all our moves are going to be giving us HP back anyways. But I do think Annihilate is going to be one of the harder Pokemon to solo with. I don't think it's going to be a great answer in general. But I know a lot of people have it, so I felt like mentioning it. But it probably can do it. But I don't think it's going to be one of the best. Just because Chestnut has such a high defensive stat. Now, if you want to use a better solo Pokemon, that's going to be Mr. Iron Hands as well. And we're going to have Terra Fighting on him with the Booster Energy. And we're going to go Max HP, Max Attack, Adamant Nature. We're not going to really use our ability Quark Drive. And pretty much... We're only going to be using these top three moves. Uh, we're not going to probably be able to get a belly drum off, but if it doesn't have a ground type move, then we actually may be able to get a belly drum off and then pop off with drain punches. But, you know, just assuming it's going to have a ground type move or something to deal with us pretty well, 
I wouldn't, uh, I would probably just go with Swords Dance on turn one here. Like, pop off a couple of Swords Dance, get that Drain Punch to get your HP back, and then your close combat's gonna be your big damaging uh, kill move when you get, when you put it in range, so that's gonna be really fun to use. But you may not even need to use close combat. You can just be super safe and use Drain Punch. I'm sort of leaning towards uh, Iron Hands maybe being the best solo mon for this raid in general, just because it is so strong. And even with those high defenses and Chestnut, uh, Iron Hands is an absolute beast. And our last solo build Pokemon is going to be Mr. Koridon with that Fighting Terra. And I'm going to put a Shell Belt on it. And we're going to be running max HP, max attack, adamant nature. Ori Cal Compose is going to further boost our attack as well. And it's going to have the sun up too, uh, which doesn't actually really help us too much in general, but it's cool to have. And we're going to be running Swords Dance, Collision Course, Screech, and Drain Punch. So Swords Dance to boost our attack, Screech to lower. I would actually rather run Swords Dance first and then Screech just because, you know, a guarantee plus two is always going to be better than a 85% uh, chance for that minus two. So I would always try to maybe Swords Dance a couple times. And Collision Course is going to do a lot of damage. I would recommend using a PP Max to make sure this is 8 instead of 5. Uh, because it's going to be a super effective hit onto this Chestnut. It's actually going to do way more than 100 damage as well. So keep that in mind. I think it's technically it's like 130 damage. But I could be wrong about that. So that's going to be a really hard hitting move. Stab, super effective Collision Course. And because you have some Swords Dance up with that Shell Bell, you're getting a lot of HP back. So co right on. It's definitely going to be a threat for sure. And I think a lot of people actually have co right on done already. So this is probably going to be another great solo option for a lot of people out there. Now to break down the gameplay methods for each one of these Pokemon. Lorantis pretty much is going to be spamming Leaf Storm. Because we're solo, the AI is always going to defense cheer on turn one. So we're going to be able to take those hits in the very beginning pretty well. So we should easily be able to get the plus six as long as you don't miss. And sustain that HP in the beginning of the uh, battle. Uh, once the shields do go up, it could be a little bit trickier, but that's not going to really change our strategies as we're going to keep Leaf Storming and then we're going to Terra Grass and just keep popping off. And like I said, if you run out of Leaf Storms, you get really unlucky and start missing. You could set up a Sunny Day and then use Solar Beams as well. Do a little bit less damage, but you won't have a chance of missing. And the Sun is going to last for five turns, so keep that in mind. But leaf, a plus six Leaf Storm is essentially going to be a five hit KO by then so i would say this is probably going to be over in about eight or nine turns of Lorantis for your solo run and then we have annihilate here uh, i always recommend hitting screech twice on the first two turns hopefully you don't get bad rng and miss and you'll be able to get those off it with the uh defense cheer and of course you don't care about dying because rage fist is going to be your kill move and the stacks stay even you faint so you could just hit close combat until your Rage Fist stacks are at max. And once that Rage Fist stacks at max, then you want to Terra Ghost, use Rage Fist, and win. Because like I said, a 300 damage of uh, Rage Fist is going to do more damage than a close combat. So it's going to be decent. Like I said, the, in the general issue is Annihilate is not going to be too good on this. But I wanted to bring it up because I know a lot of people was just saying in my comment section, Annihilate. So yeah, possible 7 hit KO with the max damage Rage Fist. So... Keep that in mind, but this is not with the Terra included on that too. And then we have Mr. Iron Hands, which I actually sort of think may be the best of the bunch here. Uh, I'm always going to go for Swords Dance on the first two turns, the pen unless it has Earthquake. If it has Earthquake, then we'll have to change to the strat, probably Swords Dance, and then like Drain Punch. We'll see from there. But once you have your plus four, you're going to start hitting those Drain Punches to get that HP back. Or you can use close combat when you have high HP to pop off on big damage. We have two calcs here, but it's a at a plus four is a three hit KO chance with drain punch. And if you're a plus four, is a two hit KO chance with close combat for Iron Hands. And yeah, Iron Hands is gonna be popping off big time here. So I really do think this is gonna be the fastest solo Pokemon of the group, but we'll have to see what that final move set is. It really all depends on does it have Earthquake or not. And last Pokemon, Coridon, which we're going to need Shell Bell. And very similar to Iron Hands, just Sword Stance on the first two turns. And then we're going to Conclusion Course with the Shell Bell. Keep that HP up. We're going to be good to go. Possible five hit KO of this. Yeah, Coridon just does not have the same damage output of Iron Hands. But I know a lot of people have Coridon done. So it's going to be another viable option. But I guess the two I would probably recommend the most out of this is going to be Iron Hands and probably Lorantis as well, just because Lorantis is, can hit it on the special side. And it's just really cool that you can deal damage, get HP back, and increase your special attack stat all at the same time. 
Well, there we have it, guys. Those are the solo strats that I have. Let me know in the comment section below if you have any other solo strats. I would love to hear them, and maybe I'll test them out on stream uh, this Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern on the East Coast because that's when this uh, raid goes live. Don't miss the live stream. Anyways, guys, I'll catch you guys next time. Please leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. I really appreciate it, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out, and have a good one. <laughs>